Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mathusiasm. Today we're gonna look at this interesting problem. Prove that tangent 1 degrees is an irrational number. First of all, what do we mean by irrational? Let's talk about its opposite, that is rational numbers. Actually, I should pronounce it as rational numbers, because the definition is a ratio of two integers m to n. These numbers can be expressed as fractions, that is, they are in the form of m over n, and the denominator n is non-zero. Now, we know what rational numbers are. Then, irrational numbers are just those which cannot be expressed in this form. Well, it's quite hard to use this definition. What about we change the mindset a little bit? Assume that tangent 1 degrees is a rational number. Then, we try to deduce something weird. This method is called proof by contradiction. So let tangent 1 degrees equals to a over b, where a, b are positive integers. We can say both of them are positive because 1 degrees is in quadrant 1. Therefore, tangent 1 degrees is larger than 0. We can use this to get more rational numbers, say tangent 2 degrees. But how? We're going to make use of the double angle formula. Tangent 2x is equal to 2 tangent x over 1 minus tangent square x. Putting x equals to 1 degrees, we get this. Because tangent 1 degrees is equal to a over b, therefore we put it into the equation, then tangent 2 degrees is equal to this fraction. So what's next? To simplify this fraction, we have to get rid of the b and b square here. Multiply both numerator and denominator by b square then tangent 2 degrees is equal to 2ab over b squared minus a squared. Because a and b are integers, therefore 2ab and b squared minus a squared are integers as well. So we can say that tangent 2 degrees is a ratio of two integers, and thus is a rational number. But wait, the denominator may be zero, then it will be undefined. Don't worry, let's check the relationship between a and b. Because tangent 1 degrees is smaller than tangent 45 degrees, here tangent 1 degrees is equal to a over b, and tangent 45 degrees is 1, so we have this inequality, that is, b is larger than a. That means the denominator b squared minus a squared is larger than 0. Okay, everything looks good. At this point, we have the following logic. If tangent 1 degrees is rational, then tangent 2 degrees is also rational. In other words, tangent twice the angle is rational. This is the key to tackle the problem. But the same idea, we keep on multiplying the angle by 2, then we can deduce that tangent 4 degrees, tangent 8 degrees, tangent 16 degrees are also rational, so on and so forth. It's just like dominoes. All the angles are powers of 2. But up to which angle should we stop? Let's stop at tangent 32 degrees and focus on 2 degrees and 32 degrees. Because their difference is 30 degrees, it's a special angle. We shall get something interesting. Take tangent on both sides, then the left hand side is in the form of tangent bracket A minus B. Now we apply the compound angle formula tangent A minus B is equal to tangent A minus tangent B all over 1 plus tangent A tangent B. Putting A equals to 32 degrees and B equals to 2 degrees, we get this. Let's take a closer look to this equation. Because both tangent 2 degrees and tangent 32 degrees are rational, so we let them to be P over Q and R over S, where P, Q, R, S are positive integers. Again, all of them are positive because 2 degrees and 32 degrees are both in quadrant 1. So tangent 2 degrees and tangent 32 degrees are larger than 0. Now, we put these two fractions inside. Then tangent 30 degrees is equal to this expression. Again, to simplify this complicated fraction, we have to get rid of the denominators. Multiply both the numerator and the denominator by Qs. Then tangent 30 degrees is equal to Ps minus Qr over Qs plus Pr. Up to here, what's the weird thing for a contradiction? 
we can see that the numerator ps minus qr and the denominator qs plus pr are both integers. Moreover, qs plus pr is larger than zero, so this fraction is well defined. We can conclude that tangent 30 degrees is a rational number. However, tangent 30 degrees is equal to square 3 over 3. Unfortunately, it's irrational. It's a well-known fact, but if you want to know the proof, let me know in the comment section. I shall make a video on that using number theory. Now you can see that a number is rational and irrational at the same time, which is impossible. It means that this assumption, tangent 1 degrees is rational, is wrong at the very beginning. Therefore, the conclusion is that tangent 1 degrees is irrational. The method of proof by contradiction is so powerful as you can see in this challenging problem. If you want to know more interesting questions in trigonometry, please check out the videos and playlists shown on the screen and in the descriptions below. See you in the next video.